Good morning children. Now we know what is bead dematch rule. Now let us solve more problems using the bead dematch rule. First, let us reiterate or let us revise what is bead dematch rule. So, bead dematch rule is the rule which tells us when more than one mathematical operation is involved then in which order they should be solved so first b stands for brackets and the operation which is under the brackets should be solved first next division should be solved followed by multiplication operation and then addition and lastly subtraction so this is b demas rule but suppose we have an expression like this how do we solve this if we see carefully there are many types of brackets what are these brackets let us look at them first so this is square brackets this is parenthesis or round brackets these are called braces or curly brackets so these are the three different types of brackets which are used in an expression when we are solving different operations and we use different order to solve them which is the order in which bracket should be solved so here this is the round bracket and this should be solved first followed by curly brackets this should be solved next and followed by square brackets so this is the order in which the brackets have the priority or the order in which these brackets should be solved now coming to this expression here if we see so these are the round brackets which should be solved first but if we see there is no operator between 2 and this bracket so what should be done you know when nothing is written between a number and a bracket it is considered as a multiplying operation that is we need to do multiplication so if we come back to our problem this means we need to do 2 multiplied by 2 now if we solve this then it becomes 4 17 minus square bracket 8 minus curly bracket 6 minus 4 curly bracket followed by a closing square bracket next if we remember the next one is to be done is curly bracket so we need to do 6 minus 4 next so 17 minus we copy it down here so we get square bracket 8 minus solving 6 minus 4 we get 2 and then the closing square bracket here we need to solve the square bracket next that is 8 minus 2 needs to be solved so here next we solve the square bracket 8 minus 2 which is equal to 6 so we get 17 minus 6 and 17 minus 6 is equal to 11 this is how we solved an expression which involved multiple operations now let us solve this expression 3 plus 2 into 4 minus round bracket 5 minus 2 round bracket divided by 3 as we know according to bd mass rule brackets needs to be solved first 
so first what we will do we will solve the expression under the bracket first we do what's inside the brackets so we will do 5 minus 2 5 minus 2 is equal to 3 let us replace this expression by 3 so we get 3 plus 2 multiplied by 4 minus minus 5 by 2 so we get 3 plus 2 into 4 minus 3 divided by 3 next what do we do now we do division so 3 divided by 3 which is equal to 1 so now this expression gets solved to 3 plus 2 into 4 minus 1 so the expression is here now what do we do then we do multiplication so 2 into 4 so 2 into 4 is equal to 8 the expression becomes 3 plus 8 minus 1 and in this expression we will do addition first so it becomes 3 plus 8 which is equal to 11 and 11 minus 1 is the expression we get and finally we do the subtraction so 11 minus 1 is equal to 10 this is how we solve the problem using the BD mass rule to reiterate what is BD mass rule BD mass rule says that when there are multiple operations involved in an expression then the bracket should be solved first followed by division followed by multiplication followed by addition and then the subtraction understood and lastly what is the order of brackets first we solve the round brackets which are also called parentheses next we solve the curly brackets then lastly square brackets so now you know what is BD mass rule that's all for now bye bye children